Okay, we're now back to segment number three of the TEIJG.com podcast. We usually podcast audio weekly for about an hour or 15 or so. And we decided today to do it streaming live on Ustream. And after that, we're going to upload them to YouTube. So you might see them in segments. They're going to be multiple 10-minute segments, yeah? Yep. Okay, next we're going to go into Christmas to New Year's. So in Japan, Christmas decorations go down Christmas Day evening, pretty much, yeah? Pretty much Christmas evening. They're pulling them down, especially in the big hotels. Yeah. Because Christmas is, is a big shopping holiday, but the big holiday in Japan is New Year's. Oh, Shogatsu. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. The New Year's holiday. And uh, so Christmas, the shopping is, you know, about a month before, like in America. You'll start to see, even more than that, yeah. You'll start to see the winter End stuff. End of October, wasn't End of October, it? It yeah. started about this year. Yeah, you see trees and decoration and lights and things. And then December 25th in evening, Bam. Most of the time, most of the places are taking the things down, getting ready for the New Year's holiday. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, uh, what what happens around this time also are the bone end kais. Ah, the end of year parties. Yes, yes, yes there are a ton of those. Aren't tons, there? and usually you go to multiple bone end kais. You go with your your friends, you go with your coworkers, you go with your relatives, and you got all you know multiple year end parties. Yeah. And it depends, yeah, they're all not as one. They're all individual parties. Like, yeah. you know, you, you don't take your friends to your work party. Exactly. You know, your work party is your work party, and then your friends are separate, and then your yep. best mates are separate and whatever. Yep. Yeah, they? you don't you don't mix the worlds. <laughs> yes. Worlds will collide, right. like in that one uh, Seinfeld episode. You don't want work Eric to mix with play Eric and vice versa, you know. That's it, yeah. Your worlds will collide and... Ma- Strange things happen, yeah. Because everyone's everyone's all sauced up and drunk, so you don't you don't want to mix those two worlds because they will collide. <laughs> and uh, also, they're also called nomikais, which are drinking parties. Yeah, well, bonenkai is the official name, but you'll have nomikais, multiple nomikais, which are drinking parties. Nomi is to drink, kai is the kanji for meat, so nomikai drinking meat, and uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And they can be pretty expensive, can't they? Yeah, because you're going to multiple ones, and usually it's a there's a the restaurants will have a bonen kai special, which is usually cheap. But after you go to five of them, you know you're broke. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. It's cost you a fair whack. And <clears throat> like it's been on it's been on TV on uh, TV, and uh, you know that beer sales are down this year, and that uh, because of uh, you know the economy. Yeah. Pe- and people aren't going to as many. On in guys because they don't have the cash. Those yeah. winter bonuses went, or not yeah. at all. Yeah. So you know. Um, so I mean, people are still going, but they're not going to as many smaller ones as they would before. Yeah. That's right. They're they're yeah. being more frugal. They're not yep, more or less definitely. being tight asses, but they're, they're being more <laughs> frugal with what cash they've got, and they want value for money. They they don't want these five thousand yen fifty buck parties where it's not uh, all you can drink or all you can eat. Yeah. You know and. You know, it's more of uh, they want value for money too. Yep. And I think the businesses are starting to realise that, aren't they? Yeah, they're starting to uh, come around. Lower, yeah, lower it. because before back, in, you know, before the recession or whatever, the, you know, the prices were a little high and people didn't mind because it was end of the year. Let's pay these high prices. There is competition between restaurants, of course, and and pubs and izakayas or whatever. But yeah, most of the prices are considerably cheaper this year than they were that. Uh, last year, you can definitely find some some good deals, yeah. Oh, you can. Yep, yeah. some uh, nice little uh, establishments to eat out there. So, uh, bonen kai. Well, after Christmas, decorations are gone. Bonen kais are happening this whole season, and then there's the pounding of mochi. Mochi is rice flour pounded with water into a really sticky, stretchy. Uh, substance, yeah, rubbery substance, yeah. Because the rice is very, it's very different to the normal rice, isn't it? It's the really rice starchy pound. rice, yeah. Yeah, it's the way, it's it's cooked. Oh, we've got some video and stuff of that yeah, anyway, yeah. That, um, or photos we can... And I'll get some more probably in, in uh, t- uh, two more days. Oh, cool, yeah, yeah so we'll be up on, the, uh, up on YouTube for, yep. all, for all of you out there, so never fear, Eric's here, he's got, uh, he'll have everything all set up. 
<laughs> and uh, you'll be able to see that. Yeah, it's it's really interesting, isn't it? It's hard work too doing that. Oh yeah, oh, especially yeah. when you're a foreigner. Yeah, you're, one, because two, you're the one. three. Do not get out of sync because yeah. it's bang, bang, bang. Itch knee sun. Itch knee sun. <laughs> and you know you got to be in zinc. Yeah. In sync. <laughs> in sync there. With, with if, that, not, uh, if not, they get pissed off and you hit somebody's hand. Uh, yes. Yeah, that doesn't get Or somebody well. hits your hand. <laughs> yeah, you can't have that. It's no yeah. good. But uh, let's see. Pounding mochi. And the cool thing is uh, after you pound it, you get to eat it. And they give you everyone gets these little mochi balls in, in you know bags that you can take home. And you can put it. You can cook it on a, on a grill or you can put it in soup, uh, like nabe and soups. No, you can do pretty much anything with it, yeah. Well, that's it, yeah. And the good thing is you can also buy it at the store. It's really hard. And you can, uh, you know, soften it up by putting it in boiling it in water or soups or grilling it up on the top of your, your kerosene heaters and things like that, yeah. Or put it in uh, okonomiyaki, little long strips. But watch out. You might choke. Lots of old people yeah. die every year choking on mochi. They do. That's and there's been stories of... Uh, People rescuing their grandparents by getting a vacuum and vacuuming the mochi yes, out of their throat. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, they have too. So there's all kinds of interesting stuff happening around the, the mochi and New Year's stuff. So after that, New Year's Eve, we eat something. Japanese people eat something special. They eat soba, soba. noodles. Soba noodles with New Year's. It's good luck, I guess. It brings good luck. And soba, it's, uh, some people like it, some people I don't mind it. I mean, I won't run out and look for it. I'll eat it. It's buckwheat, buckwheat, buckwheat flour noodles. The 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 brown, the brown so, ones, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm I'm not a fan of it. I'll eat it if I have to, yeah. but I would rather eat it than the uh, persimmons. Oh, definitely. But uh, yeah, I, I, same thing. I'm not going to rush out there and eat yeah. it. But uh, it's good for you. It does clean out your system. It's oh, very good it'll clean up pipes quick, bro. It Watch will. out for that stuff. You know, you'll be uh, very dropping the very kids off. The Pull pretty quickly, we can tell you. <laughs> very, very yeah. fibrous, very fibrous. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to speed it up because we're on about two and a half minutes left before oh, we got to okay, stop okay. again. So then New Year's Eve, about midnight, when the clock ticks, everyone runs to their closest favorite temple via public transportation. And it is packed. Sardine cans, yeah? Yep, it is, uh, they certainly are. If you're lucky, the, the temple's in your neighborhood and you just walk there. If not, like I was in Tokyo one time. Oh my God! It took us forever to get to the, the temple, and to get back was even longer. So you go there, you you do your offering, you know, get your little fortune, donate some money, and then at the shrine itself, there's a whole bunch of food stalls. That yeah. So when they've got, uh, they do grilled chicken. They have, um, you know, the grilled uh, squid. Yep. And they did. Th then they dip it in the uh, the oyster sauce, the sweet oyster sauce. They've got. Uh, Candy apples, as you call them, we call them um, uh, <coughs> toffee apples. Ah, cool. And you know they've got the mochi there and the mochi cakes and you know all the, all the yeah, all kinds of good stuff and and all the, the the chicks are all done up in their their, their nice gear with their high boots and short skirts. So it's definitely a photo op. Yes. And kimonos, yes. of course, kimonos too. You got you got the kimonos and you got the the booty the booty skirts and shorts. It's so, all there. It's so all you, there. It's kind of fun to go hang out there. It's cold yeah, it's as good. balls usually, <laughs> but dress warm and go out there, hang out, and don't expect to get home quickly because the transportation is all jacked Takes up. And most Japanese people will try to visit three temples for good luck. Yeah, three different yes. temples. Three is the so from New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve to a week after, people are still vis visiting temples, and at least three or four days after that, the food stalls are still there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cool. They do a roaring trade. Okie dokie. I think that's. Did I miss anything for New Year's? I think you covered all that. New Year's temples. We got the pounding mochi. We got the short skirts. Oh, the special long uh, boots. Sake, oh, oh, the we got sake. amazake. Amazake is served at, at most of the temples or n around New Year's everywhere. Yeah, it's a really sweet, low alcohol sake, which is a uh, rice wine, and actually it's really good. Yeah, it's sweet. But Come you on. don't. You can't get too drunk. You can't even get drunk off it. It's too sweet and it's not strong enough. But it tastes good. So. Highly recommend you, you, t you check it out, definitely. Okay, end of segment three is now. <laughs> 